Hi, everybody, and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big. It doesn't matter who you're betting on or what sport you're betting on. We've got you covered. So we're going to get into some NBA action for January the 16th. But before we do, I want to invite you to join. So you will have access to the VIP club section right here. You see all the tools that will help you make your picks more successfully. So there's a lot of games scheduled. So we're going to take a look at, at four of them. So if we go down here to the first one that we want to look at Indiana and Milwaukee so if you look at this one here this should be a pretty good matchup uh, Indiana comes in seventh in the Eastern Conference and you can see that the Bucks are third if you look here at the chart you see that both teams have average status on and um, Indiana has won four of their last six and you can see that Milwaukee here is also four and two over their last six if you take a look at the over under chart you can see that Indiana has been over in four out of the last six, and Milwaukee has been in three of the last six. If we take a look at the power ranks indicator, you can see any trends. You can see that Milwaukee has been the same level at 24 for the last couple of days, and Indiana is at 23, so very even as far as that goes. The score predictor has Milwaukee by 13 points, 119 to 106. You can see the confidence in the prediction is 46%, um, so not... A very high level of confidence yet take a look at as that gets closer to the game take a look at the stability factor how consistent have the two teams been you can see milwaukee has been up and down as far as that goes um they were as high as 10 back on december 25th and you can see they're back up to 10 as well after going up and down uh and indiana is at plus six and they were as high as plus seven back on december the 16th if you look at the head-to-head -head matchup, we can see if they have played yet this season. They have not. This is the first matchup between the two teams. So you don't have to really pay any attention to that. So in the end, though, I believe that Milwaukee, just, you know, they're definitely the better team. And being at home, I like them to win by about 6 to 10 points. Okay. Uh, let's look at the second one here now. If we look at the second one, we go down through. we got Toronto and New York. You see both teams coming in burning hot. The Raptors have won their last three, and New York is 5-1 and one over their last six. The only loss coming to Milwaukee. You take a look at the over-under, you can see that the last four games, New York has been involved in games over the line, and Toronto in three of the last four. So this could be a high-scoring contest. And the score predictor has New York 118, Toronto 111. Confidence in prediction of about 65%. You take a look at the power ranks in the carry. You look how New York peaked at plus 22 on january the 9th um well actually they peaked earlier at plus 27 on december the 21st and they dipped and then they re-peaked at plus 22 on the 9th and they dropped down to plus 16. while well, toronto is going on a sharp upward climb from plus eight or excuse me plus one back on january the 8th and they have gone up to plus 13. head to head an interesting thing that you will have seen for this is that in the two meetings this year both teams have won on the road as road underdogs. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what that means for this game here, but it is an interesting thing to look at that teams won on the road as underdogs. The stability factor, uh, teams are pretty consistent with regard to their favorite underdog stats, although both are lower than what they had been earlier in the season. Toronto was at plus 11, they are now at plus 9, and the Knicks were as high as plus 10, and they are now plus 8. So in the end, what do I like in this one? I think that the Knicks will win this game. I think this time the, the home team will finally get a win this season in this matchup, and they will win in a game going over the line. Okay, so we're going to look at the third one. The third one is going to be Utah and Minnesota. Utah is coming in ice cold up. You can see they're coming off of a win, and they're just two and four over their last six, while Minnesota is average. They're coming off of a loss after winning their previous four. If you look at the over-under, Utah has been involved in high-scoring games. You can see five of the last six over, while Minnesota only three of the last six over. Uh, the score predictor, though, if this holds true, this would be an over. Uh, Minnesota 122, Utah 113, with a fairly high level of confidence of 66%. Uh, let's take a look at the power ranks indicator. You can see after being stable for a few days there at the end of the year, end of last year, Minnesota has moved from plus five up to plus 18. 
and Utah on a steady downward descent. They were at plus 20 on December 26th, and mostly a downward descent since then, down to plus 5. Stability factor, take a note of this. Utah is very, very unstable at minus 4, meaning they're not uh, performing consistent with regard to their favorite underdog status. So that could be an important factor to look at. So in the end, I like this to be a Minnesota game. Could be by double digits, and I go Minnesota over the line. The last one we want to look at is Phoenix and Memphis. Phoenix, just in a world of trouble right now. Just 1-5 over the last six. Coming off of a blowout loss to Denver, um, they are dead status. Memphis, on the other hand, they've been red hot, burning hot here. Uh, showing here the last six games they've won. In fact, they've won their last eight. The score predictor has Memphis all over Phoenix by 13 points. A confidence in prediction of almost 67%. If you look at the power ranks indicator, you can see the tail of two stories here. Uh, Memphis was at 18 on the 29th, while um, Phoenix was above them at 20. Now Phoenix has dipped down to plus 9, while Memphis has skyrocketed and they have been steady at plus 29 over the last uh, week or so. If you take a look at the head-to-head -head matchups, the teams have played uh, twice this year. Again, an interesting phenomenon. Both teams winning on the road, and uh, both teams winning in blowout fashion. 17 points for Phoenix and 25 for Memphis, both on the road. Uh, the stability factor, these two teams are among the most stable in the league at plus 14 and plus 22, so they are consistently performing with regard to their fair to underdog status. So Memphis will be the home fair. I like Memphis to win this one, but I would pass on the over-under. Okay, so there you have it. Those are all the games for January 16th. Happy betting, and we'll see you next time.